We're live now. Good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're live. We're, gonna, we're going live now. Uh, hopefully you have a great evening. And I'm going to post again, try to post, and uh, try to post uh, and said, tell everybody I'm live at Marathon Runs. Um, today I'm using only the microphone from the, from the, from the computer. Let me see how that'll, that'll work. Uh, if you hear me well, just thumbs up there. Um, and if you can't hear, uh, well, well, I, I, uh, I don't know what to do with you. So let me, uh, I don't have the microphone. I think we're good with the microphone. If you hear me, uh, just say, say hello. Um, uh, and we'll talk about a lot of running. So, so, so usually, usually we, uh, Thursday night, uh, Thursday night we call beer run talk. So I don't know what you what you're drinking, uh, uh, and and uh, I'll I'll bring my beer now. Uh, just give me a second. Today's today's beer. Uh, if you have not started your beer, we're one minute close to a minute already. So I want you to start your beer, and also um, post your questions here. Today is a local beer. Woohoo! Our first local beer. I'm gonna I'm gonna open pop open. I really supposed to go here. It's called Ghost Train. Some of my friends were running today, but I could not make it to downtown. I would like to go there live. Hopefully, we next week. Uh, I think next week or week after we can we can try that. But yeah, Ghost Train IPA. It's from downtown Alabama, downtown Birmingham. Uh, you you can see here in Alabama, and uh, it's a seven point three six point nine. Alcohol content. I pretty much like IPAs, uh, Indian Pale Ale. I think that's what they they call it. Uh, there's there's a story behind it. I'll I'll try to bring it back. Or when I go to when I go to Ghost Train and do live from there, we will uh, we will what do you call? We'll talk to some some folks who are over there. Drink it cold. Drink it now. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. Pop it open. Pop open your beer. I don't know what you're drinking. If you're drinking some <coughs> beer. Go ahead and post what what you're drinking. So I'm gonna pop pop open, and um, hopefully you can pop open your beer as well. And uh, somebody's posting. Or I'm gonna watch watch here. And if you have any questions, I will I will. Uh, oh, again. We're live now. Good again, Good I, it looks like the settings. I still I'm still learning the settings. So hopefully hopefully I I will not mess up too much. So so um, Indian pale 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 lard. Larder, I guess that's a ghost train. That's a that's today's a, today's today's a ghost train. So let's drink it. I'm, I'm talking this already too much. Uh, oh, ah, beer. It's perfect. Thursday night. Hmm. I don't know what the etiquette you have drinking beer, wine. You you got there. Wine folks has their own way to drink beer. I think. Um, a lot of time, beer drinks are guzzling beers, uh, but I think you can also sip it you now slowly, little by little. You know that's <laughs> so. I mean, I'm gonna sip lots some 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 be beer, um, and uh, we'll talk about it. So today's topic, I didn't know what what I want to I want to talk about it. So several things I want to do. Um, so so today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk about shoes. Since the fall season's almost here, this is my last. Last last weekend before my season will start uh, next week, the my hundredth marathon's ultra. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing um, uh, just Callaway, yeah, just Callaway shirt. Uh, and runs. Uh, if you if you ran that race, and if you like to get your photo free photo, visit mruns.com. I got all kind of photos over there, even even downloadable photos. So, uh, great race downtown. Uh, it was it was a great event. Uh, I think we did at the at the at the sloss sloss this year so so anyway let's just keep drinking uh, i don't want it to it to get too warm talking about beer and warm <clears throat> and when i visited um belgium very long time ago i was i was staying in front of mine's house her her brother was drinking in in belgium but even back then i was thinking of today this this having this kind of a lot of this local beers pretty new to America sounds like in in 
in Belgium, they used to have, they always had a beer, beer. You can drink one beer every, every day, 365, 65 days, and you probably will not repeat probably 500 days, whatever. That's what they used to tell me. But one of the biggest things, and one of the things I noticed in Europe, and that time it's like this, right? her brother was popping cold, not cold, warm beer was outside, and she was just popping the beer. It's like, what? You drink beer warm? So I didn't know this kind of thing. So anyway, that's one kind of, want to talk about didn't didn't want to talk too much about it but some some experience but anyway shoes wise my uh chicago marathon pacing as a, as a pacer a nike pacer for chicago marathon we get a we get a shoes a couple of other uniform i'll talk about it um and this is my road shoes a lot of a lot of you know that i lot run a lot of roads uh 64 64 marathons uh, so that's how many i have done and um Chicago will be my fifth, I think, this time, or fifth time, fifth or fourth time pacing. I've, I I got to go back, and I'll I'll talk about it more later about Chicago and pacing and what is pacing and how do you do it. We'll we'll make one more topic for that one, one more week, and right before I go to Chicago. But so let's just talk about this shoes. I like this shoes. Uh, this is a Vomero. Uh, so this is a Vomero, the newer newer kind. Of, I forget which one, brand new. I have exactly the same looking black shoes. Uh, uh, Last several years, exact same same thing, but throughout the years they kind of changed a little bit of it, and the grips has changed a little. Last year they had a similar grips, and then they have they have the they have similar grips this year too. They kind of we're not used to as a road runner. I'm not used to having the grips like this. There's, um, but but they do have it, and a lot of cushion. As you know, I like a lot of cushion shoes. Um, so that's that's a road running shoes, uh, Nike, uh, Vomeros. I use that. Um, so I've been using, I, I've been using Vomeros for for a while. So, so this is this is a brand new, brand new shoes. I haven't even tried it yet. I need to go out and run. Hopefully this weekend, a little bit of miles. I don't like to put a lot of miles since I, I've been wearing the same brand for a while. I'll break a little bit, and I'm just pacing. So usually I I retire. Usually I use this shoes to race till I get to get it again next year. So once a year. I, I do get get a shoes. And if you have a question about that, please let me know. I I did start as a six runner. Uh, used to be very very cheap, um, and they got really expensive. <clears throat> they they got really expensive. Uh, so 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 and then Nike sends me a shoes, and I have other uniform too. I don't want to show you today. We'll, we'll bring that up uh, later on. Uh, next shoes is trail running. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh this is a zero drop zero drop. Uh, Ultra shoes. If you go to Emrons, Emrons.com, my Emrons podcast, I actually interview uh, the founder of founder of uh, ultra, ultra Ultra shoes and talks. So he talks about. I, I'll put a link uh, link below. He talks about how how this shoe, shoes became what it what it, what it became. So I, they recently sold the shoes is now part of. Uh, uh North North Face, uh, if I if I remember correctly. But uh, this is a uh, this kind of they they little change the design. I feel like if I look at it, my even even the similar shoes, a little different, a little wider. But but the idea basically for them is your your. So this is this how pointy pointy this this muscle muscle older design shoes. Their design is more how how wide it looks. It looks like a looks like a feet. You know, right behind here you can see. Just like your feet, how how narrow it is here, how wide it is here. So a lot of a lot of my friends who like the water shoes, they they like this. It's still brand new. I have not worn this. I got this uh, in the fall sometime. But but this is a uh, this is I, I like your your drop. I think I'm gonna get uh, um, Hoka Hoka as well. Uh, let's drink up, guys. Let's drink up. Cheers. If you're just joining me, we're I'm I'm Suman by the way, Suman Sewall. Marathon runs, uh, podcast uh, videos, uh, all those things. Uh, you have seen a lot of my work. Um, do go uh, if you have a YouTube channel. Do do subscribe. I start putting a little bit of uh, those too. I may put this video out there, but I'm trying to do a little bit different for all the channels that I have um, because they all work differently. But anyway, uh, go train. I don't have much time today, so I just need to be careful with my time. But um, but but drink some drink up, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a little. So, so let's just talk about the shoes just a little bit more. 
So, so this is wide, wide, and then uh, this is a trail. One of the things, the difference between road running shoes and I like this one is a lot of grips. And so as you, as you come down on the trail, it, it grips well or going up, as you know, um, a lot of time, if you're looking for shoes, a lot of time I, I do get asked this question. And uh, if you go to a local shop like Track Shack, they will tell you, <clears throat> they'll tell you that uh, you should get at least half size bigger than your regular shoes. Definitely go to before, if you're new, new to a running, running community and looking for shoes, definitely go to a local store and let let, let them fit you track sack uh mountain high and flip feeds there's a lot of running running store here in birmingham now they can help you um so so this this is this is from uh mountain high i think that's where i got it from but zero drops one of the one of the things zero drops <clears throat> why do they call zero drop if you listen listen to that podcast which i put a link here um afterward uh uh, uh uh, Golden talks about uh, uh, why what is what is zero drop. Zero drop basically means there's as you can see most of our traditional shoes kind of drops from here to here, and then they don't they don't drop zero drops. I think I think that's what that I think that if you listen to them that's what they talk about. It's kind of flat here, so so it's like almost a running surface. I I, I really don't get it. For me personally, if you ask us, it's, it's just the shoes. I'm just gonna wear. It. Uh, I like the grips, and I just feels I do have a, a nor, uh, what do you call us? Uh, some of the Solomon shoes, uh, which I have not worn, and a Hoka. I think I have a Hoka that I, I may have to rotate. But these are more racing shoes. If I end up running, racing a lot of races, trail races, I will do that. I, I didn't break this shoe, so probably I will not wear this for Blood Rock. But as the fall and winter comes, I may, I mean, may break it. I may even wear for. So those are the shoes. Um, shoes is very important. Um, if you're new to the running, and some some of the things that I was told, that shoes is something you should you should be very careful how you buy it and what you make you fit them well. Uh, you said you you can replace the shoes, but you can replace the joints or something like that. You know that's that's the line I got when I first started running 11 years ago. Can you believe that? The reason I say is my daughter turned 11, and then that's that's when and she's out, out there. Uh, today's her birthday, so. I gotta get out here soon, but but that's a that's a that's a that's a that's shoes. Uh, uh, so that's what I was told. So so I I do definitely look at the shoes and how 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 I buy the shoes and where I get it from, and and a lot of those things. So but like I said at the beginning, I, I have a, like a balance um, and uh, more more balance shoes I used to get, but now a stabilizer. I'm sorry, that's what I meant to say. Um, so I now my preference is more towards for ro road i have a lot of nikes and it doesn't matter for me i'm not a one suit person if you ask me i have i have all kind of shoes so it, it does not it doesn't matter so um, i'm not stuck with one if whatever i get i just it has to feel comfortable uh one of the shoes that i never got used to it um <clears throat> is uh is called um what do you what do you call a uh, go uh, the 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 trail shoes um goat uh uh whatever mountain goat uh, uh that that shoes that shoes uh did not did not uh did not uh go go well um any anyway, difference between the heel and toe uh, uh toe zero drops means no heel uh lift so that's what um mike house says uh mike mike runs uh by the way he runs uh he runs a uh, uh fitness uh the house uh i think house training center I, I will i'll put a link to his his stuff too um and in, in, in a little bit later on or mike can you you can post that but <clears throat> but hoka yeah hoka definitely hoka i like hoka uh, um i don't have a hoka today uh, i do have some road hoka which is still in the box um i don't know but i don't run enough road i guess there's those shows that haven't got rotated i may have it here hold on just give me one second. I think you may have it here. Give me a second. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find a hookup that I need to, that I need to rotate on. Ooh, I'm, I'm making noise here. So this is, uh, this is, uh, here, here's the hookup. There's one more shoes that I need to rotate my shoes. Uh, I don't need not run enough road. So I, I'm looking for a trail hookup. My, Trail older, so these are new shoes. I, I didn't want to bring my old dirty shoes, which is in the garage. So this is this is Hoka. Uh, I think it's Ultra. 
uh, Hoka 101. So I do have this Hoka Challenger. Oh, Clifton. Oh, okay. This is Clifton 3. I have Clifton 3. I don't know what Clifton's version is right now. This is for road running. Uh, I have not worn this yet. I should be wearing this. I will definitely start wearing this fall. Um, even for Hoka, things are a little different. As you can tell, <clears throat> one of the biggest things in Hoka, it's it's pretty tall compared to some of the other shoes. I mean, other shoes is kind of catching up or they're kind of kind of how, how they do it. But oh, which way I'm supposed to go? Um, but Hoka is pretty still still their their hillside. All these things are pretty tall. I, I remember when I first wore Hoka and, and running <laughs> with the guys, and they're like, "I still," and they're like waving at me. And like it was so funny because I had that those funny funny look at Hoka. Um, but I do have Hoka. I, I'm I'm gonna get a trail trail Hoka, and the one I had uh, Ultra, I think, or not Ultra, whatever. I forget the name. Um, anyway, I uh, those Hoka. I'll, I'll show it to you once I get it. I think I I, um, I want a trail trail Hoka shoes as well. So so anyway, uh, the shoes that I, I had a problem with Speed Goat, uh, the the first version I still haven't got used, never got used to it. I used to flip ankle. I don't want to blame shoes for flipping my ankle, but uh, um, but definitely definitely like had us a lot of issue with that. So I hardly wear that. I get scared wearing that running a trail, uh, but it's still pretty new. Um, so, so that that's about the shoes. That's one. I just kind of mentioned that shoes is such a big part of our running. Um, I mean, you know, I have like a, you know, those shoes gets all rotated out and so on. But shoes is a big part of running, uh, trail running. I, I think my trail running shoes I wear longer than the road running shoes. I used to actually keep a track of all my shoes. Lately, I have not done that. That's a very bad thing because I used to like a like three to 500 miles, I just used to rotate it out. But with the trail running shoes, if you look at some of my shoes, that's like, it needs to go, I need to replace it. So definitely I will, I'll replace uh, my my uh, my ultra shoes with that and my Hoka will get replaced and so on. So as the new season comes, hopefully, hopefully I, that will happen pretty soon. Let's drink up a little bit. Uh, so this week I'll, I'll drink this. Uh, if you have any questions, please do post. Um, Mike is posting some, some comments. So, um, uh, Mike is posting some comment about the shoes. So, like I said, I'm no ex expert on the shoes. Only thing I know I'm expert is I'm wearing them. I recently was doing the, my miles count, trying to tally up all my miles because I'm getting asked how many miles have I done, and and I, I'm I'm seventeen thousand miles, more than seventeen thousand miles ever since I've been running. I, I don't know how many hundreds of shoes I. I have uh, I as it gets old I I take it to Nepal or or donate here you know things like that or some of them are still in the garage some of them I use it for cutting grass and <laughs> so on some of them like so I uh, I remember time when I didn't have a, that many shoes I one shoes was getting a one shoes was so difficult now I like so many shoes it's like I. And it is one of the biggest thing. And people ask, like, why you have, you have two inches? My family stopped asking me about that because they know that they know that I that's part of the exercise. That's a part of the things we do. But still, people like that. Uh, so if you have a lot of shoes in your closet that you have not wear and you bought it, uh, you're guilty now. You you need to <laughs> you need to go and go and wear the shoes and and uh, and uh, and don't 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 make your family. Um, Pay for more of your shoes. So just we are close to 25 minutes. So hopefully uh, you're enjoying it. Uh, I know that I'm enjoying uh, doing this. Uh, I'm trying to see if I don't know what happened to this. This the whole. I, I think we still have the comments going. Uh, 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 why do they? Uh, uh, so DC. Uh, so why do they call you print the the principal? So yesterday I was. Uh, I heard that you know. I was reading or listening to some books, and they said the trail people have their names. So I think Speed Goat got his name. It's a trail name. So extra, extra to some, but some, some fool named me a principal or the principal. So I'm not going to tell you why, but but it's just the style of running I do, and and, and there's just there's, so we you need to come the Wednesday night run, uh, Wednesday night light run, and then find out what why it is called. So. And the only bad part of this, because I would not be 
running as hard in those hills for a while. I think uh, I'm done running hills, and because of the, all the races coming up, I I don't want to be. I don't want, but you missed out on that one if you wanted to know. But do come to Wednesday, and they will tell you why, and then you'll have a good laugh. Well, mostly. But but that's all I have. Uh, if you don't have a, yeah, some fool. They're there. They're, but but do do come out. Uh, Pinhot is coming, and uh, a lot of Pinhoti. Uh, and Matt and Matt is Matt is here. So 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 he's he he's a part of the Pinhoti Trail group. They're they're organizing in the for, first forty miles. I would love to go there. I think my schedule may not allow, but I just want to mention all my Pinhoti or so that uh, if you're training for Pinhoti, it's your day of running long long miles is almost finished. So do get those miles even if you have done rebecca mount you have you need one more of the really long miles of good hills you know just work one of the things i really like to and uh, try to do and which i may not have a time um it's just work those foods if i end up running penhody work those foods work works you don't have to have a night runs but definitely have to work through those tired days how do you deal with it today i was so tired all the runnings I did early morning, get up, and a lot of things happening. I was so tired, and once I take a nap, when I get up, it's hard to hard to keep keep going. If you end up doing that for a hundred mile, or you get tired and you sit down and don't get up, so you need to learn. You don't have to do running, running, but just being active. I think that will help you. Uh, a good old uh, DC DC is drinking middle light, so. I used to those light beer in college years. I used to love those beers, you know. That's the only thing. But now, now I I'm, I really like IPA, and uh, I think I think when I go to a Ghost Train, I think next week and after, I may I may want to go next week. We'll see what next week look like. But week after, because now I did the Ghost, I will do something else. But I don't have much. But like I said, the shoes is an important part of your running, racing. Do pick a shoes that you will enjoy and like. Um, I do have a bunch of other shoes, but these are the shoes uh, I need to start wearing them, rotating them, and rotating out some of the old shoes. Um, so, so that's all I have. Um, if you don't have anything, uh, I would like to say good night and uh, have a great run, have a great weekend. Um, so, so enjoy. Do uh, uh, do 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 like to um, do like to wish you good luck if you're racing races this weekend. If you haven't listened to Emron's podcast, do listen to that. And uh, and what I have this week, uh, yeah, last week, and uh, Guinness. I like Guinness, Guinness beer. So yeah, definitely all kind of beers. There's so many beers uh, we can talk all day about beers. And but but uh, but a great, great. I had a great e- evening talking to you guys. Hopefully this is. Kind of helpful talking about. I do like to bring some guests. Need to f- find out if anybody interested out there talking about some of the things. Um, we'll we'll t- we'll try to bring some guests or just in the live settings. Go to go to the go to some some beer here. Beer hogs here in Pelham and downtown. There's a lot of breweries that we can go. I do need a Wi-Fi, but definitely I'd love to bring some some of you out there and drink with me and talk and. Uh, And have have a great a great evening, and then um, do run some some miles and keep training, guys. Those hill training, I felt much much stronger as as I'm training. I have gone through so much down um, this summer, this last 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 few weeks, and last week and this week, I felt my training finally catching up to me uh, because I put a lot of time and effort. 150 miles for the for August. That's that's a lot of miles. I put that's that's more miles I put in in, in a while. Uh, I will have about 100 something miles. It's not much. It's not like I used to. The volume used to be like that because I just have too many things going on and still trying to get back. But I feel really strong running those Wednesday night runs, one, one, all those hills, all those things I do now running and try to have a quality mile is helping me and. Um, like I said again, running is not easy if you don't keep practicing. If you if you leave and you don't practice running, it, it's really hard to get back. But once you once you're there, keep running, keep keep training, keep working, and keep moving forward.
and don't give up. Thanks and good night.